Good day and peace be with you. Today is Saturday, the 9th of July 2022. We thank you, Father, for all your blessings. As it says in 2 Chronicles 39, For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn his face from you if you return to him. Lord God, we know the Bible is filled with promises and we cling to every single situation that we encounter in our lives. We know that as we cling to these situations, there is somewhere in the Bible that will encourage us of a way through against these situations. Lord, let us look at every one of these promises as a verse given to you to encourage us. The verse says that you are gracious. It is one that will grant us favour. Let us delight in all your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for reflection today continues from Deuteronomy chapter 20 verses 1 to 9. And the theme for reflection says, The Lord your God will fight for you. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. When you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, do not be afraid of them because the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt will be there with you. When you are about to go into battle, the priest shall come forward and address the army. He shall say, Hear Israel, today you are going to battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not panic or be terrified by them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. The officers shall say to the army, Has anyone built a new house and not yet begun to live in it? Let him go home or he may die in battle, and someone else may begin to live in it. Has anyone planted a vineyard and not begun to enjoy it? Let him go home, or he may die in battle, and someone else will enjoy it. Has anyone become pledged to a woman and not married her? Let him go home, or he may die in battle, and someone else will marry her. Then the officer shall add, Is anyone afraid or faint-hearted? Let him go home, so that his fellow soldiers will not become disheartened too. When the officers have finished speaking to the army, they shall appoint commanders over it. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. And remember to share the good news with others and have a blessed day. Amen.